What's up, everybody? Uh, today, uh, I'm doing this uh, quick video. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to uh, multi-output route uh, Superior Drummer 3 in Cubase Pro 13. Uh, so first, uh, why would you want to multi-output route your drums? Uh, the reason we do this is so we have uh, individual control uh, over uh, each different element of the kit. Uh, you can process things differently. You can bus and route things differently uh, than what you could if you just had that coming off of a uh, single output, uh, which you can see here. I've got a little groove in this MIDI lane here. Um. At, at the default setting, Superior Drummer just only outputs to a single stereo track, which is this guy right here. So uh, we want to get that out uh, on you know as many outputs as we need to route this how we want to do it. You can see in the Superior Drummer mixer, there are a ton of different tracks. And, uh, you know, not all of these are active uh, at default, which you can see. A lot of these, uh, you know, um, extra like ambient, uh, the near, the, the mid, the far, uh, ambient ribbon, uh, those kind of tracks, uh, they're not activated at default. Uh, but you can actually go in here. Yeah, here, ambient mid is one that none of them are activated. And you can activate those, and it actually gives you a little more flexibility with the way you sound design your drums, uh, which the drum sound design is a bit beyond the scope of this video. Uh, I just want to show you all how to uh, multi out these in Cubase, right? So um, now, for now, I can. Uh, I can hop back over here to my main drum screen and I can just close Cubase or <laughs> I can close Superior Drummer for a minute. Um, <clears throat> For uh, for you to be able to find uh, the the place where you go to uh, route this, you need to make sure you've got this guy clicked. You want that left zone uh, to be showing, uh, and you're going to want to click on the instrument track because if you're away from that instrument track, you're not going to be able to see this in the inspector, right? So here, you can see in the inspector, uh, you can see uh, I've got the little routing the little routing drop down menu uh, drop down, uh, and what you're looking for is this option right here. It says select multi out instrument return channel. You're going to click on that. It's going to give you this little drop down menu and it's going to show you all 16 stereo outputs that you can access from Superior Drummer, right? So I'm going to click, hold, and drag, and bam, these are all my multi outs from Superior Drummer. Uh, I am going to color code these. So I'm going to just hold Control Shift and I'm going to click the first track. The last track, I'm going to highlight all these boys. Click here select color I'm gonna make all my drum tracks blue because I like my drum tracks to be blue um, so the next thing I'm gonna do now I can I can close this guy out because I'm pretty sure I'm done over here but I do want to go back into edit instrument on superior drummer uh, because now all of these different outputs are gonna be available when I go over to the mix window um, so I'm just gonna show you guys how I route these I will send so you've got two two kick channels here in darkness. I uh, will send those to outs one and two. I'm going to send my snare top and my snare bottom to outs three and four. And as I go through here, I'm going to name my tracks. So there's kick. Here we've got snare. And then let's see. I... In this kit, I have toms one, two, and then four and five. So what I'm gonna do, rack tom one and two, rack tom three, I'm gonna pull that one out. I'm gonna mute it because I'm not using it. Uh, so I'm going to uh, send rack tom one to five, six, tom two, seven, eight, floor tom one to nine, 10, floor tom to to 11 12 and then i'm going to come down here and i'm going to name these i'm just going to name these tom t1 t2 t3 and t4 uh because i've got two rack toms two floor toms and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to uh oh by the way if you saw me do this thing here where i click and drag that's i'm clicking and dragging here so i'll click on for instance kick out and i can just drag over here to kick in then i can assign both of these tracks same thing with the snare top and snare bottom but here i'm gonna click on hi-hat and then i'm going to hold control because i want to select all these i'm going to find ride splash overhead and I'm going to send those to 13, 14. 
And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to name this symbol sum. And it's worth noting, you don't have to route these the way that I am. Uh, if you want all like, if you want like the kick in and the kick out to come out to their own tracks, you can route them that way, snare top, snare bottom, so on and so forth. Uh, so the next ones I'm going to grab is this overhead mono, because I know that this one is active at default. I'm going to send that to 1516. Then I'll come down here, overhead mono. Bam, and then room near is going to be 1718. So then I'm going to come down here. Well, ambience near, I call it room near. Bam, so there's room near. And uh, something that I like to do is I like to grab the ambient far track and I like to enable the kick and the toms. And I like to do this because you can use this uh, instead of using a reverb, you can kind of hit that with a, comp you can slam that into a compressor a little bit and uh, you can, you can honestly get away without a reverb. But again, you know, that is uh, a little bit beyond the scope of this video, but that's just something that I like to do. I send that out to 19 and 20 and I'll name this, I'll just name this shell verb because that's what i'm going to use it for essentially is a shell verb for my uh, snare and my toms right so uh then you know you can see that i've got some outs that i didn't use um and that's okay you don't have to use all of these you can if you want you can use more you know you can you can blend these however which way you want uh it's very very flexible and very very powerful the kind of routing that you can do out of superior drummer uh, but anyway now that i know that i'm only using up to 19 or yeah 1920 I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to bring my inspector back up and then I'm going to grab this guy again and I am going to just get rid of all these guys that I'm not using. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to click on this first track, control shift, select all of these, and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a group channel to selected channels. In a lot of DOS, this is called making a bus. In Cubase, they call it a group track. I'm going to add group track. That'll be called group one. I'm going to call this drum bus. That way, I can uh, have a little bit of control over the... If I, if I just need to turn all the drums down, I can just grab that single bus uh, fader and turn them all down. But as you can see here now, when I hit play on this, uh, instead of the the entire kit coming out on the one channel, So yeah, that, uh, that in a nutshell is how you multi-output route Superior Drummer 3 in Cubase. Uh, super easy process, honestly. Um, and then uh, what you can do is you can go to File, you can do Save as Template, and then you can save this as a template, and you can uh, just name it, you know, SD3 Darkness Routed. And then, oh, spelled that wrong. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you know, and then hit OK there. Then if I were to close out of this, then I when I go to uh, the more and a create a project, I can see this as my template SD3 darkness routed. I can open that up as a starting point. And uh, once this loads up, the here we go. Bam. You can see that the uh, kit is still loading into the RAM up here, but when I do. Bam. 
So now this is easily accessible to me anytime I want to start a new project. Uh, you know, I, I'm a recent Cubase convert. Uh, you know, I'm very new to Cubase. Uh, I've been using Studio One Pro since version four, uh, jump ship uh, less than a week ago. Um, but this is, you know, I really like so far the routing in Cubase. I like, uh, there's a lot that I do like about Cubase. And I think uh, I'm going to wind up uh, spending a lot more time here. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, if you, are ever looking for someone to help you get your uh, music to where you want it to be. Uh, I'm also a mixing engineer. Check out my website, jasonbakermixing.com. Thanks again for watching. Take care.